Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well, um, today we are going to address a question related to uh, um, decorative columns. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a few techniques that you can use when you want to do that. All right, we're going to start off uh, with the simple one. We're just going to create a polygon cube, and we're going to bring that out to something like that, and for symmetry's sake, let's make sure that this thing is square. So we'll do width and depth both 5, nice and square. Let's select it, hit 5. Okay. Right click face, select the top face, edit mesh, extrude, hit R, scale that in, G to repeat that, W to push that down. G to repeat that again, R to scale that in, and G to repeat that again, and W to pull that out. Something like that. All right. Then we're going to right click edge, select the outer edge, and select that outer edge. Oh, we have to do that one manually. There we go. Edit mesh and bevel. Okay. Now we're going to take the whole thing, object mode, control D to duplicate, E to rotate, and let's make sure that that's exactly 45 degrees, like so. We're going to hit W to pull that up, and just make sure that we are connecting there, all right? And let's hit R and start to skill that in until we are inside that initial shape, like so. Recheck our height again and push that down. Okay, cool. Now that we've got that, we're going to take that entire thing. We're going to go to Mesh Combine. Modify center pivot. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate this by minus 45. There we go. And we're going to hit Control D. Hit W and push that down until we are. Let's check this from this point here. Something like that. Okay. And then we're going to hit Shift D a couple of times. Something like that. Maybe a bit more. Okay. Drag select the whole deal. Go to Mesh, Combine. Hit Control D. Move that over. We'll just uh, zoom in to get a clean view. We're going to bring that back so they're touching, right? And let's do Shift D, Shift D, and Shift D, something like so. Drag select the whole deal, mesh, combine, and now we're going to go to our animation tab, create deformer, nonlinear, and bend. All right, let's just check to see where our bend axis is right now. That's uh, not what we're looking for, so we're going to hit E. And we're going to rotate that bend handle until we're at 90 degrees, minus 90 in this case. And there's a possibility we have to rotate it once more, but we'll just quickly check our bend handle. Yeah, there you go. We need to uh, rotate that once more. So we're going to pull that down to minus 90, like so. Oops, just go back. Yeah, there you go. Bend handle. And actually, we need to do one more. Minus 180. All right. So that should be... Yeah, there we go. Okay. It was exactly 180 which is good here. Yeah. 
fine. We're going to drag select the whole deal. We're going to go to edit, delete by type, and history. Select this guy. Modify center pivot. We're going to move that upright to 90. All right. And then we're going to take a polygon cylinder, switch to our top view, give that guy some subdivision, let's say 40. And we're going to move this guy, hit W, and move that guy in. After zoom in, let's get this guy centered. Now, this is one simple way of creating a decorative, decorative column, something like that, right? And I'll show you one other way you can do that. Sometimes you see these uh, curly shapes and so forth, and it's, it's tricky to model that, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. Let's say you have a, a round room right and you got some decorations going on there so we'll just take a polygon uh, pipe we'll pull that up we'll give it some subdivision let's say 40 something like so and let's say this is some sort of I don't know arena or whatnot okay and you want some decorations on these walls uh, especially when it's curls and stuff like that, it's hard to do that, okay? So in order to get around a wall like this, what we'll do is we'll start off with a simple cube. And we'll just drag that out, something like so. Give it some height, not too much. And make absolutely sure you have enough subdivision going on in this direction. Because we're going to curve that around, okay? Okay, so we've got that. We're going to switch to our top view. And we're going to go to our Create CV Curve Tool. Okay, now I'm just going to uh, do some freeform, uh, nothing special. Okay, as you can see, it's not very symmetrical, but that wasn't the point of this exercise, but I can tweak it a little bit. And like I said, that's not the point of this exercise, so don't worry about that, okay? All right, so let's say this is our shape here, right? Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to uh, Create Nerves Primitives and Circle. And I'm going to create a little tiny circle down here. Okay. Make sure your circle is selected. Shift select your NURB uh, CV curve, right? Go to your Surfaces menu. Go to Surfaces, Extrude, hit the Option box. And make sure you have Add Path and Component. So I'll just reset this, like so. This is your standard setting. Select Add Path and Component and hit Extrude, which will give you a shape right here. Now, the problem there is, and I'll just close a little bit on, in, in on that. There we are. Is It's not a polygon. and We need it to be a polygon to connect it to our wall before we curve it. Okay. So while that thing is selected, we're going to go to Edit. Uh, where do you go? Edit, uh, oh sorry, Modify, Convert, NURBS to Polygons. So now suddenly you got one inside the other. So if we hit W, 
modify center pivot there we go and you hit W and you move that out now which one is a NURB and which one is a polygon now if you right click on this one you got your face your vertex and so forth that looks like a polygon right it's not quads but it's still a polygon this one right click hey control vertex so that's our NURBS line right so we're gonna select this guy get rid of it take our line here get rid of that and our little circle down here and get rid of that now this guy that should be a polygon but there's one way to find out we're just going to take that in and make sure that that's touching our wall here okay I'm going to select both and in my polygons menu I'm going to go to mesh and combine and this uh, requires two polygons so if it's not a polygon it's not going to work and it did right cool so now that said what we're going to do is we're going to curve this and create it into a side of a, um, a, a column if you will we'll just uh, clip off a couple of these here okay so this is our object right click object mode and we're going to select the whole thing and we're going to go back to animation uh, create deformers nonlinear bend and again we want our bend handle uh, actually I think this one is right let's check that uh, sorry no it's not we're gonna rotate that guy so select it hit E rotate it by 90 let's give that another try there we go okay so now when I rotate 180 degrees and I didn't then select the whole deal go to edit delete by type history I got a piece of decoration let's see I'll just get this thing center pivot just get these guys in the correct view so we can see them together so these are two simple methods if you are looking to create uh, decorative columns right now I assume that the top section of the column you know isn't that difficult and for this guy here if you want this to be a nice smooth line obviously when you're creating this curve you need to have the uh, vertice points closer together to get more definition right I just did a quick curl here if you zoom in quite a bit and you make sure that they're very close together you can make a nice smooth line in addition you can take your final um, object before you combine it to this thing and you can do shift right click and then go to smooth right which will give you a better look as well okay cool so this is uh, the end of this uh, very short tutorial hopefully these tips were helpful thank you guys for watching as always and see you guys next time bye